This is BMW C Evolution, an electric scooter from BMW. You can either treat it as a proof of concept, in which case, well done BMW, or you can think of it as a full-fledged product, in which case, uh, BMW still has some work to do. What is it? To put it simply, C Evolution is an electric variant of BMW C650 Sport, an agile medium-range maxi scooter, but C Evolution is similar only on the outside. Under the fairings, there is a housing full of battery cells, the same that are used in BMW i3 electric car. There are about a third of i3's batteries here. Battery housing is an integral part of the scooter chassis. As standard, C Evolution has 15 horsepower, which doesn't sound like much, but remember, electric motor delivers all the goodies from down low. As a result, this thing goes from 0 to 100 km per hour in less than 7 seconds, and from 0 to 50 km per hour in less than 3 seconds. And it looks like this. Of course, riding like this, you'll never get the claimed 100 km standard range or 160 km in the extended range version. In Poland, the standard model can be ridden with a regular car driving license, but the extended range version is more powerful and therefore requires a bike license. Let me know in the comment section below what it's like in your country. Regardless of range, C Evolution is heavy, coming in at 275 kg. This is mid-sized touring bike territory or as much as a Suzuki Bergman 650. If you're looking for a scooter to zip through city traffic, this is not the one for you. If you're looking for a practical scooter, which you can use for some shopping on the way home, this is also not the one for you. Under the rear part of the seat, there is storage enough for one helmet, and you're probably going to be carrying the charging cable with you as well. Theoretically, you can try and pack it in the front storage, but it's too complicated. Why bother with a charging cable? The biggest problem with electric vehicles is range. Surely, most of us have daily routines which vary only slightly, but an EV doesn't leave any room for improvisation. If your daily commute is 60 kilometers, then you won't be able to visit your friends on the other side of town without recharging on the way, especially if you'll take the ring road back. BMW C Evolution is not very economical at higher speeds. Sure, off the lights you'll leave behind most loud piped riders, but paradoxically the city is this scooter's natural habitat. Yes, the city where you have to push through traffic. Around town, keeping it calm, BMW electric scooter will easily do promised 100 km per hour. Ride it wisely and you may get even more. But on the open road above 80 km per hour, range falls faster than one percentage point per kilometer. Of course, there are modes to choose from, road, eco, pro, sailing and dynamic. As far as I can tell, the road mode is the best, there is enough power and at the same time, noticeable region braking. In eco pro, region is too aggressive and I found no situation in which it would make sense on the road. Sailing mode is for coasting on an empty road, dynamic mode is the one to use when you want to show off what 15 electric horses can do. Most of the time I used road mode and I easily achieved around 100 km as long as I stayed below 80 km per hour, which is perfectly adequate on a twisty road, less so on long open straights between towns. If I wanted to go, let's say, for a weekend trip, I'd have to reserve three hours at my destination to recharge. So, before you set off, check if there are any chargers available along your planned route or be prepared to ask good Samaritans to use their sockets. Charging from a standard 230 volt socket takes around 3 hours, from empty to full, around 2 hours to 80%. In case of the extended range version, these values go up by 1 hour each. I charged from my garden socket, but I heard battery cooling fans all over the house. If you're planning to charge at night, turn the charger down to 6 amps, the fans are less noisy then. Let's get back to riding. This is where BMW C Evolution doesn't disappoint. 
assuming you're not suffering from range anxiety, sea evolution is fun around the bends, and that's of course thanks to very low center of gravity. The seat is comfortable, and thanks to elevated rear seat, the passenger can see the road above the driver's head. Speaking of the seat, at 175 centimeters, I have to balance the scooter on my tiptoes. In order to stand flat, I have to slide down to the front, but then I have very little legroom, so I have to slide up again. Most of the wind hits the driver, riding above 70-80 km per hour with the standard windshield is unpleasant, you can replace it with an accessory touring windshield. And if you're planning to carry more than just your charger and a helmet, you may also want to get a top box with an armrest for the passenger, it's going to be safer, as it's easy to lose your significant other with this much torque. Despite high mass of the scooter, suspension copes well with uneven surfaces. Of course, this is no adventure bike, but it's okay on rougher stretches of asphalt. The only sound is the whine of the electric motor. If you hoped for a totally silent ride, you will be disappointed. In an electric car, the cabin shields us from this sound. In this case, you can hear the whine of the motor and wind noise. Maneuvering is easy thanks to reverse gear. The brakes are very effective, visibility in side mirrors is decent, onboard computer screen is visible even in sharp sunlight. Crucial information is displayed on the main screen. There is more battery-related data which you should not be concerned with while riding. BMW C Evolution prices start at 14,000 euro, 1,500 more for the extended range version. This is a lot for a scooter, which is too large to squeeze through city traffic and offers insufficient range for a proper weekend trip. This is why I think BMW C Evolution is a good proof of concept, but I'd classify it rather as an expensive toy for early adopters than a full-fledged scooter for a price of a city car. And how do you like BMW's electric scooter? Or maybe you prefer traditional bikes? Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe, rate and share. And if you like what I do, support me on Patreon or PayPal. Links in the description below. New reviews every Friday. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.